there, it's Ariana from O Pilates in collaboration with Dharma Bump Active. I'm a fully qualified personal trainer and Pilates mat instructor as well. Um, tonight's class, I'd like to actually start. What we're going to be doing is standing, coming down from a standing roll down and just moving into the mat in a nice, beautiful prone position. I'd like to kind of keep things flowing a bit this evening, being still in our winter period here in Sydney, just to keep things nice and warm and our circulation moving through our blood flow. So we'll come up onto our feet, so just standing, come into parallel, so your ankles and knees in line with each other with your hips. Just roll the shoulders a couple of times, breathing in to prepare, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Leave our arms and palms down by our side. Drop your chin towards your chest. Breathe out and rolling down. C curving a bit through the spine. Take a breath in. Bend the knees slightly so we can place the palms on the floor. We're just going to march out with our arms coming into the high plank position. From here, I'm going to ask you to bend the knees and then shoot the bones to the ceiling and then stand. So we're going to nice straight legs and then come into that plank position again, breathing in. Repeat in, exhale, fold, bend, straight legs, inhale, back into the plank. Okay, three more times like that. So bend, exhale, fold, inhale, straight legs, come into that beautiful plank. Two more, bend. Exhale, fold, straight legs, inhale, back into the plank, one more time, bend, exhale, fold, straight legs, coming back into that lovely plank. Now, you can have an option where you modify, dropping onto your knees, what we're going to do is just extend one leg back at a time, breathing in, and then come back on the exhale, try and keep the hips in the same position, yeah, so we're not going to move the hips over towards the knees, they're going to be in front of the knees. So this is the kneeling version. If you want to progress, we'll come up into high plank. So lifting, staying in that plank and then raising one leg up at a time on that. Inhale, exhale down. Maintain your sit up through your shoulders and your pelvis stays in the same position. Breathing in as we raise, breathe out as we go down. Inhale as we raise, halfway, exhale down. Inhale, raise, exhale down. Four to go. Lift, exhale down. Lift, two more to finish nice and strong in this prone position, thinking about good alignment. Then from here, what we're going to do is just go into a straight leg fold, into upward stance, and then come back into that plank, and then on our next movement, what I want you to do is prepare, lift the leg, and then come back and bring that leg forward. So now we're in like a lunge position here. What we're going to get do, what I'm going to ask you to do is drop the back knee here and just check and make sure that the ankle knee is in line with each other and our knee is behind our toes. And then we're in a nice hip flexor stretch here. And then tucking that back foot, we're going to lightly hover that back knee off the mat. Just holding it here for two deep breaths in and out. Breathing in through the nose and deep breath out from the mouth. Perfect. Now let's place the hands ready to support yourself like a push-up. Bring the front leg straight away up. So reaching up and then back into that plank position. So let's go over to the opposite leg. Bring the opposite leg up and then shoot it in between the hands on the side. Get ready just to drop that back knee, but don't actually place it on the ground. And now we're opening up the hip on the opposite side. So two deep breaths in and out. One more time, deep breath in and then exhale. Now, coming out of the stretch, prepare your arms really to press into like a nice, beautiful prone position or plank. Get ready. So, kick that front leg back and then come back into that nice, beautiful high plank position. Straight from here, what I'm going to ask you to do is just bend the knees and then walk the hands back so we come into your high kneeling position. 
for thigh stretch. Keep the shoulders over the hips. We're going to be hinging back from the knee and then come forward on the breath out. So hinge back and then exhale, come forward. Let's repeat three more reps. Inhale as we hinge, keeping my shoulders stacked over the hips. Two more, hinge, come back and then last one, hinge back. Perfect to come back to the start. Now from here, let's transition straight down to bring your body onto the floor so that we're going to go into a push-up. So my elbows at the moment, I want them to aim backwards and my hands are about shoulder width apart. So I lower my chest and my hips down on the inhale, then I'm going to press up on the exhale. So inhale, coming down, exhale, press up. So we'll go for three more to finish. And then two. And then we've got one more. One. Perfect. Lovely. Now walk the hands back. So you come back into that high kneeling, ready for a similar round from the thigh stretch, but our arms are forward this time. So we hinge back. Stay in that hinge with the thighs, arms up, arms forward, and then finish back at the beginning. So inhale, coming back. Reach the arms up, keep the shoulders down, don't let them shrug, arms in front and forward. Three more to go. So come back, reach the arms up, forward, finish, two to go. Come back, reach the arms up, forward. Okay, one more time, let's go. Come back, reach the arms up and forward and then repeating back to the start. Get ready to come into high plank. So moving the arms forward like you did before. Coming out of the kneeling, tuck the toes. We're gonna lift into high plank. Straight from here, we're gonna go into a push up. So bending the elbows, chest and hips down, push up. Now straight away, aim the sit bones up and walk the palms back four times. From here, roll up. Come up, shoulder roll. Drop the chin towards the chest. Roll down. Hands on the mat. Try and imprint four handprints out. You walk into plank. Again, push up. Breathe out. Push away. Fold and walk your hands back for four. And then roll back up. Shoulder roll. Roll back down. Chin down. Aim your head and hands towards the toes. Hands on the mat, walk out, four hand prints, push up, fold, walk back, and roll up. Beautiful, two more to finish, so coming down, breathe out, walk out, try and keep the hips still, align the back, push up, walk back, and roll up. Perfect, shoulder roll, one more time, drop the chin down towards the chest, breathe out, walking out, four times, push up, perfect, now drop onto your knees and do a little stretch here, so back onto your heels and just bring the arms over to one side, try and interlace the fingers, we're just going to push the bottom arm away while you're pulling the top arm in and holding that beautiful diagonal stretch while you're sitting back on your sit bones. And then we're gonna get ready to come over to the other side and repeat that angle diagonally on our opposite side. Stack the hands, push the bottom arm out while you're pulling the top arm in. Perfect. Lovely. And then come back into the middle just do one more stretch here. Head comes to the mat and just rest, holding here, creeping the fingers towards the top of your mat. Lovely, okay. Great, getting ready to come out of this position. We're gonna go straight over into side lift. So what I want you to do is turn onto your side. We're gonna have the arms supporting you so you're not sinking 
we're lifting out of it. So your bottom knee is bent and our top leg is stretched out with your side lift. Lift out of your shoulder, come up, reach over your head and stretch. And then come back down, lower your hips, just off the floor, don't land them. And then raise back up and reach over your head again. Coming down, lift up, breathing out, breathing in, back down. Two more, breathe out, lift up. Excellent, don't sink into the shoulders, just lifting the hips up and reach over. Now for our next part, we're just going to place that top hand on that thigh and bring the bottom leg in and stack the feet. So we're in the side lift like this and add a lift through the top arm and leg. And this is called star. So it's five repetitions. Star it out. And five. And then prepare to come down, bending that bottom knee and just reaching over and stretching it out here. Awesome. And then come up. And let's just change sides. Ready for side lift on the opposite side. So top leg out. Knee on the ground. Coming up with the hips, reach over your head, breathe out. Come back down, exhale, side lift, and lower it back down. And side lift two more times to finish. Side lift, last one, and then side lift. Perfect. And then from here, keep the hips up, bring in the bottom leg, stack the feet. And that side bend lift. Now lift the top leg and arm for five, four, three, two, and for one. And now lowering down, bending that bottom knee, ready to stretch it out, bring the feet to the mat and come on your sit bones, just hugging the front of our legs. What we're going to do is pull away and just hold the stretch for two deep breaths in and out. Try and see curve your spine. Just relaxing now after we work those side bends. That's a lot of shoulder work through there. And good balance, especially when we went into that second part of the star as well. Perfect. Okay, lovely. So our next exercise is like a reverse plank. So what I want you to do is keep the left foot on the ground. Now you can have your arms in a position where your hands are flat with your fingers facing in. Or you might prefer a fist. It's up to you there. Stretching out the opposite leg. What we're going to do is lift the chest to start with and then raise the hips up and back down. Three times, right? So lifting up, hips up, try and keep them even and back down. So on our next part, we're going to hold and then just lift the leg that stretched out three times without dropping your hips. Perfect. And then lower out. Change legs. Coming up here for three, two, one. Now hold, now lift. Three, two, keep the hips up. One, and then coming back down to the mat. Now both legs are going to be reaching, and then we're going to get ready. Lifting out of your shoulders, lift your chest up, raise the hips up for three, Two, and then on the last one, we hold our body weight up. And if you can, without dropping the hips, lift one leg up at a time. For three, two, the last one, keep the hips at the same position. One, and then lower your body back down to the mat. Perfect. Taking the legs now, everyone, into what's called the diamond seat. Okay, just coming out of that upper body work. Let's move a bit just to finish off and cool off by rolling back behind your sit bone. Sit bone, scoop the spine and then roll back up and lift. Two more, breathe out. Come behind, breathe in, sit back up. Last one, coming behind and breathe out, sitting back up to complete the class. Thank you very much for your participation. There was quite a lot of upper body strength there. I've got these brand new season leggings on, which I really love. Just quickly show you them. A beautiful striped navy blue with a little bit of a, a pocket. So.
Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.